Hi boys and girls, it's Monday and I'm back today to read a story with you and to sing with you the five green and speckled frogs. The story today is five green and speckled frogs and then before we go, we'll do a little activity and you and your family can sing it together throughout the day. But before we start with our story, we always want to make sure that we welcome each other back and I just want to say that I missed you and I'm thinking about you and I hope that you and your family are doing well. So we'll start our day off today with a twinkle twinkle little star. Twinkle twinkle little star what a wonderful child you are big bright eyes and nice round cheeks talented person from head to feet twinkle twinkle little star what a wonderful child you are all right you wonderful children so everybody stand up yeah. stand up I'm so glad to be here today. I'm so glad I just have to say that I'm joyful and I'm helpful and I'm ready to win. Let the day begin. Head back, stand up tall and strong and sit on down so that we can start the story. Today's book is called Five Green and Speckled Frogs. Five Green and Speckled Frogs. This book is written, well, it just says illustrated. That means it only gives credit to the person who drew the pictures. Constanza Basaluso. Constanza Basaluso. Five Green and Speckled Frogs. Five Green and Speckled Frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. There they are. One, two, three, four, five. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Pool, cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. One, two, three. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Does that sound really good to you to eat some delicious bugs? I don't know. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glove, glove. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. The end. All right, I'm gonna turn my camera down here because I have some five friends here to play with you today. Can you see that? And what do you, why do you think I have this blue piece of paper here? Oh, you're right. This is the pond or the pool that we were talking about in the story. So this time 
We'll sing it together. Show me your five, your fingers. One, two, three, four, five fingers can represent the frogs, okay? And if you remember how we sing it at school, we sing it like this. At school, we did this. We, did, we pretended that our arm was the log and that our hand were the five green and speckled frogs. So you can do this if you want to. I'm gonna move this down. Okay, so remember, this is how you're going to do it at your house. Five green and speckled frogs, okay. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. So now, instead of five, you need four. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three speckled frogs. So we had five on the log. Two went away, and now we have three. But we still have five, except three are on the log and two are in the water. But how many are left on the log? One, two, three. So show me your three fingers. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Hey, now check out. Do we have more frogs in the pool or on the log? If you said there's more in the pool, you are right. There are three. That is one more than two. There are more frogs in the pool. We only have one, two left on our speckled log. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one speckled frog. Here it is. Glub, glub. Now, which one has more? You're right. There are more frogs in the pool, and only one frog is left on the log. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log. Remember, you can still hold your log like this and put your one finger to represent the frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no speckled frogs. No more. Glub, glub. Now which one has more? You're right. Now all of the frogs are in the pool and zero are on the log. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Some of you have signed up to talk to Teacher Cece on a video chat all by yourself. We can play a game together and then Tomorrow, some of you have signed up for the video chat with your class for show and tell. Remember, find something special to share with your friends today. So tomorrow, when it's time for video chat, you're ready to go and you have something wonderful to share. It's time for Cece to go now. But before we leave, we're going to wish well. So hands on your heart. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day today, we wish you well, we wish our friends well, we wish our friends well.
all through the day today. We wish you well. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls. I'll see you tomorrow.